everyone my name is crystal and if you're new here welcome 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 and if you are returning welcome back in today's video i'm going to be walking you through the exact strategy that i use to grow my social media audience and how i schedule all of my social media posts in less than five minutes just very briefly for those of you who don't know me i am a third year phd student at yale university um, i started there back in 2020 and i am currently getting my phd in public health with a focus on social and behavioral sciences um, i also um, wrote my first book back in 20 i guess i finished it back in 2020 but i published it in 2021 and that book went on to sell over 450 copies worldwide and I'm truly, truly grateful for that whole experience. Um, from that book, I decided to start coaching. So my blogging platform, my education um, platform has allowed me to serve more students as I finish up my dissertation at Yale. It's definitely not easy. There are a lot of moving parts, but I try to stay as organized as possible. Okay, so basically to start off, what you need to remember is that you only wanna focus on one or two platforms initially. So as you're beginning your blog, as you're growing your blog, having every Every single social media platform established is not going to be feasible or necessary um, if you just focus on one or two good platforms that are kind of optimized for bloggers or for content creators then your business your online business can truly thrive um, what I did was invest in a lot of uh, blogging course courses to help me get started I invested in Adam's blog growth engine which by far has been the best blogging course I've ever invested in um, I also got by Sophia Lee's perfecting Pinterest and perfecting blogging um, strategy her courses have been great as well and they pretty much all say the same thing you really want to stick to one social media platform and the great thing about pinterest is that it's really optimized for bloggers the faster that you automate this process the better off you are so it doesn't take long to set up and i'll show you exactly how i do this in this entire video so here is my recently published blog post so as you can see i published it today on october 3rd and I have yet to index it on Google and schedule it on Pinterest. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. The process of indexing your blog post on Google isn't necessarily um, like it isn't a part of the process that's necessary. It isn't unnecessarily um, required, but I always index my blog posts on Google so that Google picks up on my article earlier on instead of just waiting for the whole process to take place. So how you index blog posts on Google Search Council, Council is very, very easy. So what I do is I copy my link of my newly published blog post. I go to Google Search Council. So this is my dashboard here. You do have to connect your website to Google Search Council, but the process of doing that is very simple. Um, I used a, a tutorial on YouTube to pretty much like help walk me through the process. I also um, asked my blogging coach for support, but like I said, it's very simple. I It took a couple of seconds. And once I got it set up, I was able to start indexing each of my blog posts. So like I said, this is my platform. You can see that it um, my impressions grows over time. Like I said, it is technically is still a young blog, um, but it has been nice to see like my impressions and uh, total clicks on Google kind of go up and that process has been pretty exciting. So what you want to do is go to the left hand side and you'll see URL inspection. If you click that, you'll be able to um, paste your link inside of the search bar. And what it's doing is scanning Google to see if your link actually shows up. So like I said, I just published this post today. So of course my URL is not yet on Google. Um, so I would have to request indexing so that it does show up. Okay, so my request has definitely been submitted and I just click got it. And then it'll usually take about 24 hours, 48 hours for it to um, officially show up on Google, but I'll show you what a URL look like looks like that has been index on Google. So this is a um, keyword that I'm currently um, ranking on Google for. And as you can see, it has been indexed on Google. So it says that my URL is on Google and I have all of my green check marks. So once my blog post has been indexed on Google or the request has been made for my blog post to be indexed on Google, I head over to Tailwind and you'll find it at tailwindapp.com. So I'll log in really quickly and then show you what the dashboard looks like. So this is the home page of Tailwind. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to see all the scheduled blog posts that you have today. Um, so I only have a few going out today. And um, I also like automat or manually pin some posts as well um, on Pinterest. And so you won't see every pin that's um, scheduled to be posted here. 
because Pinterest does have their own automatic scheduler as well. So sometimes I'll use both, but usually I'll just stick to Tailwind. So Tailwind is pretty straightforward as far as what they offer. So on the create tab, that's where we'll go to create our new pins. On our drafts will be any pins that I have created that, that have yet to be scheduled. And then my plan, just basically discussing um, my monthly pin. So I think there there's a free plan that you can schedule, I think up to 10 pins a month. But I was using that in the beginning and decided that I need a lot more monthly posts um, to schedule. And so I went ahead and got the pay plan, which is about, I think it was around 12 $12.99 per month. I don't really use the communities tabs a lot, but I know that it's a good place to connect with other bloggers who are in a similar niche. And then your insights is just like your analytics. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go to create. And the process of scheduling my pins on use on Pinterest using Tailwind takes about less than five or 10 minutes, but because I'm explaining it to you, it's going to be a little bit longer. Um, so what I'll do is go ahead and show you. I copy the URL again from my newly published blog post. And so it's really cool because what they'll do is already pull up the images that you have on your blog post. So I can just choose this one, this one, this one. And this blog post is about money making apps. So um, I do like to keep it consistent. These are, it pulls up from everything. So my Instagram is connected to my um, website and so it's pulling up posts from my website as well from my Instagram as well you can also search for different stock photos as well so I think this is connected with pexels.com and so say I wanted to look up apps I can pretty much just go through and pull anyone that is relevant or any images that are relevant for my blog post I think this one is probably the best one I would say like this as well i already used this image for another pin so i'll go ahead and delete that and so now i have the four photos that i'm going to use for each of my pins you could also go through and change your text so seven of the best money making apps for college students in 2023 i'm just going to shorten this a little bit let's definitely take out my name and so like i said what Tailwind does is just pull all of your information from your blog post. So sometimes it'll have a lot of information that you can just delete. You can also change your text. I usually just bookmark this when I feel like it looks the best um, for pins, but you can change your text and it'll basically show up here. Actually, that was a good one. No, okay. I think I'll just keep it to the one that I already have bookmarked. You can also change your color pa palette. So these are my branding color pa palette. So I pretty much always keep these the same. And I also love the fact that you can connect uh, or add your logo or your website name. I usually just have my website link name to keep it consistent with other blog posts that are on Pinterest. Whenever I was manually making my pins on Canva, it was taking a lot, lot longer. So the fact that I can just come to Tailwind, I can click which photos I want. Everything is already preset. It literally takes me like less than five minutes to do this entire process, especially since I don't have to use Canva to create my pins. So sometimes I'll just like browse through to see which ones look decent or which ones look relevant, but I don't really spend a lot of time with the multiple photos because like I said, it doesn't really, um, it looks a little bit too much for me. And if I was um, someone scrolling on Pinterest, I'm not sure if I would click on one of these. So what I do is I change my photo count to one photo just to make it consistent with other blog posts. Um, ooh, I really like this one as well. So you can change the color, you can change the photo in the background as well. Um, you can also change the layout. That one actually doesn't look too bad. I think I like this one the most. And then you can also deselect some of these as well. So if you choose some that you don't like and then you decide and you see more that you do like and it's past the five um, pin mark, you can also deselect some of them um, by going over to the view selected and then you can just deselect it or select it back. So that's pretty much the whole process that I'll do. And then you can also choose your category. So since this is a blog post, I'll go to content and then blog post. And this is pretty much where I live as far as selecting my pins. Um, so like I said, as soon as I post or as soon as I uh, connect my URL to Tailwind, I'll go ahead and go to one photo 
and go to blog posts. You can hook up other social media platforms as well. So there's a place for you to schedule your posts on Facebook, on Instagram stories and Instagram feeds. Like I said, I only stick to one social media strategy, especially as a new blogger in Pinterest. I have seen the, the biggest growth um, for my blog on Pinterest. So I just stick to Pinterest and kind of keep this entire strategy. And then I'll go through and just select the pins that look the best to me until I get to five and move on to the next process. Okay, so I don't spend a lot of time on choosing my five pins because like I said, I kind of just already have an idea of the type of pins that I would like to post on my uh, Pinterest account. And because Tailwind has been optimized to create pins that are very similar um, to the pins that are already on the platform, I know that any of the ones I choose really are going to um, do well as long as I just stay consistent. So now that I have my five, I just move on to the next phase and you click on review designs. And I'll be able to see all of the five designs that I have that are ready to be pinned and ready to go on Pinterest. So I go to go schedule. And then it's just confirming that I am scheduling on this Pinterest account, which is the account for my website. And I go to confirm. And now I can see that all five pins are here ready to be um, scheduled on Pinterest and I'll show you the process that I use to do this. You can pretty much use the same description for each one of those. What I'll do is use the same pin description, but I'll switch the pin title a little bit and then I'll pin on different days of the week. So the fact that I have five pins here will allow me to basically schedule pins for the next month or month and a half. I know it may sound a little confusing because I definitely was confused in the beginning when I first started integrating uh, Tailwind into my social media strategy. But what happens is say that I have everything together for this pin. Um, so I have my pin title, my pin description, and I have the boards that I really, that I want to pin to. So let's say I'm pinning to these five boards. I can go and today's Monday. So uh, Tailwind chooses the best day based on the, my target audience that they'll be on Pinterest. So I can just choose one of these times. And then this post will go out every Monday at this scheduled time. So every Monday at 9.25 p.m. for the next five weeks, my pins will go out. And so you'll be able to see this. So this Monday, next Monday, Monday after that, and then it's going to pin to all of these different boards. So if you already have these boards created on Pinterest, um, then Tailwind will pull those up. But if you don't have the boards created, then you'll have to create the boards inside of Pinterest before they show up on Tailwind. I would say that's the only downfall about this um, platform is that the boards have to already be created on Pinterest in order for them to show up here. But if you ha have um, a good number of a decent number of boards, then you should be able to find all that you need. Um, you can also pin to your community. So let's just say this one is about college tips. So I'll pin to the um, college tips community. And then if I schedule my posts, once I have my description down, um, this post will be scheduled for the next five weeks and I don't have to touch it ever again. Um, I think you can schedule up to six here. So let's see. I think it makes sense. Yeah, so you can, you can schedule, like I said, for the next month, month and a half. You can literally do it for three months. It doesn't really matter, um, but you have five separate pins to go with. So um, I usually just choose about six or seven pins here um, to get me started. That way I don't have to touch it again and I can just do this in like five or 10 minutes and then that be it. So I'll just go through very briefly, show you how I do it, and then we'll move on to the final step. Okay, so this process is pretty straightforward. As far as my pin title, I just keep it very consistent to the title that I have on my pin as well. And so I'll go to my blog post and just with this one, I'll click the whole one. I'll also just go through and put it here. And then sometimes I'll take out the year. Okay, so I now have a title for all five of my pins and now I'll go through and add the description. And what I'll do is go back to my blog post and I'll just click like usually it's like the intro title so here. I'll paste my description here and just edit it a little bit just to make it more Pinterest friendly. And I'll also go through and add some of my keywords as well. So I usually do this process beforehand, but what I like to do is just go ahead and look up like money. So like you'll be able to see that like money making hacks, money making ideas, money making apps, those are really, really good 
keywords to use if people are actually searching for this on Pinterest. So what I'll do is just add a few of these keywords also to my um, description as well. So now that I have my keywords added and just a very brief description, I just go through and paste it on all of the pins as well. Um, this is something I don't change. I just keep it all the same. I don't really think it makes that big of a difference if you don't change it or if you do change it. And now that that has been done, all I have to do is go through and schedule my blog post. So I'll do that very quickly and you'll be able to see um, how I'm pinning to each of my boards. Yay, so my very last pin has been scheduled and that is pretty much a wrap. So like I said, once you go over to Pinterest, we will be able to see um, all of my pins. And I've talked to some other like bloggers about this, like some of their pins will do really well. Like this one is already over 1.4 thousand impressions with like six pins. And then there's one that's going pretty viral. Let's see, uh, this one that's like <laughs> 388 pins and like 50 clicks and stuff and 251 likes but the thing is i posted this a long time ago and it just recently like literally within the last two weeks has started to like go viral on pinterest so sometimes it takes time and sometimes you'll post some that don't get any traction as well like this one really doesn't um, but these are mostly idea pins but if you go down to like other pins you'll see like some of my pins the one towards the top usually don't have that many impressions because it's still taking time i guess but if you like scroll towards the bottom you'll find some that have a little bit more um, impressions as well and a little bit more like pin clicks sometimes it just takes time sometimes you'll create some that really won't go viral sometimes you'll create some that will um, but you just have to stay consistent i've noticed that the more consistent i stay the better my pins do so i'm just Trying to stay consistent so that is pretty much my entire tailwind strategy like i said it really doesn't take that long this video is a little longer because i was explaining my process but um, it doesn't take long once you really like understand tailwind and once you understand the interface it's very very simple um, when i first started it took me a lot longer to schedule blog posts but now it really doesn't take that long and i usually like to just go ahead and schedule it as soon as i publish my blog posts with anything it takes a lot of persistence to see any growth and so like i said i'm just now at the six month mark and i'm just now seeing an uptake in my analytics in my traffic and it's still not up to the point to where like a lot of my blogging coaches coaches are because they've had their blogs for years so let me know if you have any questions and i will see you in the next video bye